let us look into the creational design pattern and today we will be looking into the uh, singleton pattern and um, the creational design pattern is a way that provides us a way to create an object by actually hiding its uh, creational logic so how the object are created it gets hidden inside and uh, this provides uh, more flexibility uh, on deciding which object that we want to create right we don't have to directly create an any object like a final uh, final user equals to new user or final user equals to user so we don't have to uh, directly instantiate the object but it provides us a way to create an object and in a more flexible way so let's go and create a new file over here and i'll call it as a singleton.dr.file and here let's create a class and i'll call it as a person and let's say we have one variable of a name and let's create a, a constructor first this one and uh, this the, the name so once we have this uh, let's also write the two string function and from here we can just return the string object let's say the uh, person and i can just say mm, dollar the name that we can have okay and then we can also uh, override the another function of uh, let's say this one is of a type return type is of a bool operator which is of equals to equals to the uh, let's create an object so i guess let's remove this one and uh, then we have a uh, uh, let's say object type and this is of the object that we get and here let's decide the um, if that particular object that we are receiving if the object is the type of the person right then we are going to check some condition over here if the uh, this dot the name if this dot the name is equals equals to the object dot the name that we are passing in then we will say that this is a same object so we'll say return true right otherwise we'll just return a false from here so uh, return a false so this means that we have the operator that checks actually two object of this person is a same or not so let's go and have a main function over here and let's say uh final p p1 let's say which is equals to the person over here and we'll pass in the name as something like the richard or uh, let's call it as a uh, richard and uh, then uh, we can just say uh, and create another one so final p2 which is of equals to the person and here we will pass in the name as the let's say uh, the one and uh, then uh, let's have a final and p let's say a p3 which is of equals to the person and let's have the same name um, right so that should be fine should be of a name okay so now what we'll do is we'll try to check if uh, all of these are the same so let's go and print out over here and i just want to uh, let's say a print over here and let's try to print the uh, p1 right and uh, let's try to print the uh, p2 and then we also print the uh, let's say a uh, p3 and let me run this uh, method and we can get that the person richard person day one person and richard now let us try to check all of these uh, again so i'll just copy this again let's go down below over here and i'll just put it inside the string and let's do the string interpolation over here first of all and that should be of a dollar and let's do it of a dollar sign and dollar sign and here we want to check something so let's say that the p1 sorry i need a string interpolation so uh, that should be of a p1 dot the has code and i will do the same thing for the rest of this so let's go over here and uh, let's go over here and i'll just run this one 
and you can see that the hash code for each of them oh it's the same why because uh, we have the same object over here so this is v2 and it should be for p3 so now again if you run we should get a different hash code uh, here we get a different hash code here we get a different hash code and here we get a different hash code even though the this p3 and the p1 has the same uh, object which is of the richard and richard but their hash code is uh, different so uh, we can also check like um, print over here and which is of the let's do the string interpolation of the p1 uh, sorry and dollar let's do it inside this one over here so uh, p1 uh, sorry uh, it should be of a dollar and then the p1 uh, which is of uh, equals equals to the p2 right so we have a p2 over here and then we'll just run this one and you get a false over here and the false means that even though that this contain the same object uh, we are getting the false over there also oh, it should be of a p3 not the p2 and then uh, we'll just return it over here it should it is written in a true over here even though the hash code is different so it's just checking the uh, here the object of the variable name is same or not but uh, what we want to do over here is um, in this case we want to have a same hash code which means that the memory location of this particular object should be same and it should be created only once so whenever we create a multiple object of this particular person uh, we just want to have a uh, one object for that we don't have to we don't want to have a multiple objects which means here it is creating a multiple object over here so what we can do is um, let's go up and uh, let's copy this uh, logic over here and uh, what i will do is I will, instead of person let's say this is of a um, let's say this is of a car car object and uh, here i'll just say a uh, car and uh, let's override this one as a car the name and uh, let's override this too this should be of a car and uh, then this should be of a name okay that should be fine and what we'll do over here is instead of creating an object directly what we want to do is we want to create a singleton object over here so let's create a singleton object for this one so let's go over here first of all and i'll just see a car and i'll create a, a secondary constructor which is of the let's say uh, internal object and this will be of our secondary constructor and here we'll create a final and i'll just i think i'll create a static uh, final and uh, let's create of the car object which is of the let's say uh, instance is of equals to the car that we have and the internal so this will return us the internal object from here so whenever we call the instance it should return us the internal uh, object it will create a car object right and uh, here what we'll do is we we'll use a factory sorry FACTOR a factory constructor and uh, with this I can just remove this part and just say a name over here we are taking a name and uh, let me put it inside over here so once we have this uh, we can just say that the, the, we have an instance which is of a car instance that we are creating and instead of the name we can just set the uh, name that we are getting in and then we can have the uh, return type from here which we will return the instance because it's a final so we can have the final over here it should be of uh, let let's say it's a type which of the string uh, string string so that should be fine so now you can see that we have the um, uh, variable name of a string and then we have a static which is of the instance of this car and when it's called it's written the internal 
constructor which is of this one this is a private constructor which is a secondary constructor in the dot and uh, now uh, let's go down over here and i guess i'll just copy this one too i i think i'll just comment out this one first of all and let's create a final uh, c1 which is of equals to the uh, car and then i'll pass the uh, name that we have let's say uh, uh, toyota right and uh, let's do that one and i'll create another one final c2 which is of equals to the car and uh, then uh, we will as yes, we need a name and the name i'll just give it as a uh, honda let's say the honda and then let's say uh, what we will do now is we'll just go and print the uh, object of a c1 yeah c1 and also we will uh, print out the object for the uh, c2 right so let's see if anything is wrong over here so the c1 and the c2 c1 and c2 so let's run this one so we get the uh, honda and the honda again so why is it, is it that it's a c1 and c2 and even we have a created a two different object you can see it has been replaced by the another object which is a honda and now if i add another one final c3 and uh, this is of equals to the car and let's say that this is of the uh, audi and uh, let's have a name for this one and uh, if i now go and print that one uh, let's say a print and then i have a c3 object over here and uh, let's try to run this one then you can see all of these uh, particular uh, c1 c2 and c3 is having a same value of the audio why is that because we just have a single instance what it does is the factory constructor over here is going to create a single instance if that instance is already created so it's just going to return that instance and um, then it gets replaced so you can see that by calling that particular hash code so if i want to see the hash code and see check if this has the same memory location in uh, inside our memory so i can just say c um, dollar c1 that we have sorry dollar c1 and then i can just use a string interpolation of the c1 dot the hash code and i'll do the same thing for all of our c2 and the c3 so this is of a c2 and this is of the c3 and here we have a c2 and here we will have a c3 so let's run this one and you can get get that this particular object all of them have the same memory location which means that even we create a multiple instance of that particular object we are going to get the same instance okay so all of these objects have the same memory location so that's why we are getting just a single instance of this particular uh, object so this is really helpful if you just want to have a single instance of your application uh, sorry the of this particular object throughout your application lifetime so which means that like some of your services like your database services and um, your network services uh, you can have a single instance of that and uh, because the database service you cannot recreate every time it will take a lot of the resources as well as uh, your transaction may get corrupted like if you are updating and uh, again you destroy it and again you create recreate it um, it is a possible that the your, your transaction may get corrupted or even the database get corrupted so you can have a single instance for this kind of the object creation and to be uh, there is also a drawback like if you create this particular object it's not going to get uh, destroyed throughout your application which means your garbage collection is not able to collect this object so it's a uh, waste of wastage of the, your memory too so it will take up your resource and your memory for your application so when you are using a singleton you just need to be clear that it has some drawback as well as the, um, the um, plus point and the negative point 
and uh, you just want to decide whether you need to have this particular object as a singleton and and uh, you decide it and, and then only you can create it uh, don't just simply go and create the singleton instant everywhere and that will affect the performance of your application as well as it's not a good practice to have a singleton everywhere it's only in some of the um, in some of the cases like your your database services your network services so all of those classes should be a singleton so just decide yourself which class you need as a singleton object and which of them you don't need it uh, so that's all for this lesson